Hello my friends, I'm Wavy, and this is going to be a nice short video on how to use mod organizers for Stalker Anomaly. First we're going to look at the utility called JSGME. The download link will be available in the description and you'll be brought to this page here where you'll want to click this download now button. Now with your download of JSGME, you're going to want to put it where your anomaly install folder is, just like this. You will also want to grab 7-zip. You'll want to download the 64-bit version of 7-zip. Now with JSGME downloaded, we're going to open this with 7-zip. Inside this folder here, you're going to find these files, and we're going to select all of them, hit Extract, and then we're going to find our anomaly install folder. This is where you'll see app data, bin, db, game data, right on that top level folder. Hit OK. And now let's verify it installed correctly, so we're going to double click on that. And we'll see the mods folder in the JSGME application. For installing a mod in JSGME, you'll want to extract your add-on and paste its contents into the JSGME mods folder. With your add-ons extracted, you're either going to want to take the folders that are right here or folders that are inside. For JSGME, you need to make sure that when you paste a folder in there, the only thing that's contained in that folder is a game data folder. That way it knows how to install it correctly. For example, the JSRS part one has a game data folder right here. So this is good to go. This boom sticks and sharp sticks has other folders inside of it. So you're gonna to wanna to take something like this that has a game data folder in it. So we're gonna copy these folders we're going to go back to our stalker anomaly install directory and we're going to paste them in the mods folder that we got from the JSGME install. Now with them in there, we're going to go and we're going to open up JSGME application. Here we see our available mods list and all we need to do is select the mod and click this arrow to enable it. Now when installing multiple add-ons, you may get prompts like this one. Prompts that talk about a folder are irrelevant. You can just click yes. But you should be careful when a prompt says something something dot LTX has already been altered. This is what would be considered a mod conflict. And the way to deal with these is either with patches that you get from the add-ons themselves or by not playing with it. You can of course say screw that and just install it anyway. Who am I to judge? But it'll probably not work. To disable a mod, all you have to do is select it in the activated mods list and click this arrow here. And this one here disables all mods. Like so. That's the basics for JSGME. When you have the mods that you want activated, you can close this and launch the game how you do normally. The other mod organizer I'm going to show you is called Mod Organizer 2. Again, the download link is in the description. It'll bring you to this page. And all we're going to do is we're going to scroll down till we find this assets part. And we're going to download the 7-zip archive. It'll have a couple of numbers here. That'll be the version. So if they're different, don't worry about it. You want the 7-zip one. You'll click on it and that will start a download. Now for this, you can put it anywhere you like. I'm just going to put it at the top level of my hard drive here, along with my Call of Duty Black Ops. You will also want to make sure that you have the latest Visual C++ redistribution from Microsoft. Without this, the Mod Organizer 2 won't run. Chances are you do have it, but if you need it, I will provide a link and you'll just want to click this x64 version and install it right there. With Mod Organizer on our hard drive right here, we're going to go and create a new folder to house all the files. Just going to call this one MO2. Then we're going to open up the archive. We're going to take all of these files and extract them to that folder that we created. With that complete, it should look something like this. Now we will launch the application by double left mouse clicking on this modorganizer.exe. So when you load it up, you just want to click this button here. It says create new instance. We're going to click next. And then we're going to create a portable instance. We'll then scroll to the bottom and click browse. And we're going to want to find our stalker anomaly install folder. And then click select folder. From here, we're just going to keep this same folder where our data is going to be stored. Just remember, wherever you install this instance of Mod Organizer 2, you ought to have a bit of available hard drive space. Don't worry about linking with Nexus and go ahead and hit finish. So the one thing about Mod Organizer that may be handy, but in some cases may not be handy, 
is that it works with archives. So what we have to do here is we have to click this icon to install from an archive. And for JSRS, we could just click this, hit open, and then we can add these three parts into our list here. However, for something like Boomsticks and Sharpsticks, it's gonna be a bit different. Because of the way that the files are structured for this mod, just like JSGME, it's actually looking for a folder that inside has the game data folder. So for Boomsticks, remember, it had those folders inside another one. However, it's not that big of a deal. When you go in here, you could just click on the folder that you're trying to install a mod with and you send to a compressed zipped folder. But once we have our archive files, we're gonna do the same thing and we're just gonna add them to the mod organizer. Now when you're using JSGME, the priority of the mods and how they're put in the game are controlled by you enabling them inside the application. For mod organizer, you actually have to set the order first and then activate the mods like so. Now it isn't going to alert you about conflicts, it's just the description for them really doesn't make a lot of sense. You kind of got to be a little bit careful about this, but just make sure that when you're using add-ons to read the descriptions and read any readmes that come with them because they'll probably explain how to install it first off and then they'll actually explain any potential issues that you may run into. But once those are checked on, all you got to do is hit this run button over here and start your game up. Another little quirk just to keep in mind with Mod Organizer is that to play the game, you're going to have to open Mod Organizer itself, then hit run on the game. With JSGME, you can launch Anomaly normally through the launcher, but with Mod Organizer, you do have to go to its archive and start it up first. Well everyone, I hope that was at least helpful. I have another video coming out later this week where we'll talk more about add-ons and installing them. And I'll show you some of the more interesting stuff like shaders and textures. But that's it for this one, my friends. Peace out. I'll catch you on the flip.